bodybuilding in its purest form is its perfect symmetry and it's very beautiful. A competitive female bodybuilder's goal is not unlike her male counterparts. It's about achieving a highly defined physique that can only be obtained by increasing muscle mass while decreasing body fat. To do this, bodybuilders work out and watch their diet obsessively year-round. When you're doing an off-season cycle, you're taking things that are going to help you build muscle mass or put on weight. When you're getting ready for a show, you're doing like a cutting cycle. So you're using things that are going to help you decrease your body fat and define the muscles. The things include pharmaceuticals like anabolic agents, male testosterone, and other growth factors to build muscle mass. When you see those people in magazines, that is an attained look for that day only. And that papery thin look is accomplished by critical dehydration. That means the removal of nearly all the water from the body's underskin. It's an extreme form of dehydration and can be a life-threatening condition. Prepare to enter an American subculture dedicated to the female human body as Herculean superhero. And how does a woman go from this? This was her before picture, before she moved to California. To this. The level of the sport demands a lot of things. To get that hard and get that big, then you do have to take steroids. This is a part of my sport. It may not be a part that people are as comfortable talking about, but it is a part of the sport. Everything that we put in our bodies that is male testosterone based, it's not supposed to be there, and so you're going to have negative side effects. I wouldn't have a voice this deep if I didn't take male hormones. You know, I wouldn't have to shave my arms on a daily basis if I didn't take male hormones. And I wouldn't have the thickness of muscle density that I have if I didn't take male hormones. And once you get to one point, you cannot put the genie back in the bottle. In other words, once a woman beefs up, it's not that easy for the body to revert to a more natural look. The effects of anabolic steroids use can last for years, even a lifetime. When we got into this, I told her, as long as her facial structure doesn't change, we're good. But we're not going to get into that level of so-called gear that does that. Kim's new shape has definitely changed the way this couple lives their life. With an instinct for one of the latest pop culture trends, Lauren has literally taken a step in a new direction. From the bodybuilding scene, I'm kind of crossed over to being a dancer. I am amazed how she takes the pressure because when I met her, I was very sorry for her because everybody thought, oh my gosh, she looks like a man. She's not like a woman at all. Maybe she was a man. I get sensitive and I get my feelings hurt because I think the general public are so mean. They're just so mean and they're so quick to judge. And you don't even know me. Lauren is no longer taking supplements to beef up her body. I'm trying to let my body recover, and so I want to be feminine. I am all girl. I'm just a girl. Transitioning into a girly girl. Nobody can believe it. <laughs> What's behind their fixation? Why would any woman expose herself to the health risks of competitive bodybuilding? You're about to find out.